What's up guys? Wired Zero here. And in today's video, we'll be securing OwnCloud with a self-signed SSL certificate. A link to my latest tutorial on installing OwnCloud will be in the description below. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. What is SSL or Secure Socket Layer? SSL or a Secure Socket Layer is a standard security protocol for establishing an encrypted link between the server and the web browser. This link ensures that all data exchanged between the browser and the server remains secure. SSL allows your website and your visitor's browser to transmit private, sensitive information without the worry of eavesdropping web forgery, and data tampering. You probably noticed the lock in your browser's URL area. This is what we're going for with our own cloud install. So let's go ahead and update our own cloud to use an SSL. All right, we're ready to SSH into our server. So let's go ahead and type in SSH space, your username, in my case, it's Egon, at, in my case, my Ubuntu server running in my virtual machine is 10.0.0.142. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and enter your password. Okay, I'm gonna hit clear. Now I'm just gonna grant myself some root access. So type in sudo space su and then type in your password. Okay. All right, now that we're started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a directory. Now all the, um, Steps in this video tutorial are gonna be in the description below, all right? It's gonna be on my website because I can't put certain things on YouTube, but uh, the link will be in the description. So for the first step, step one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in MK, we're gonna create a directory, dir space forward slash Etsy, forward slash Apache two forward slash SSL and hit enter. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the certificate. So go ahead and in step two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that, okay? We're gonna paste it in here and we're gonna hit enter. All right, now for the country name, I'm gonna go ahead and put US. All right, for state, I'm in Florida, if anybody wants to know. So I'm gonna type in Florida and city. I Actually, I don't care to give this out. I mean, I'm in Cape Coral, Florida. And for uh, organization name, yeah, I'm gonna go with Wired Zero. And for organization, that yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna hit enter. All right. Uh, for my domain name, basically, I'll just put in wiredzero.com. And email address, we'll go with egon at wiredzero.com. If you wanna send me email, by the way, that email address does work, so send it away, people. All right, hit enter. All right, we are good to go there. And now we need to update our Apache config file. So this will be, I believe it's gonna be step three. All right, so you can copy and paste that in here. So we're gonna go to forward slash Etsy, forward slash Apache two, forward slash sites dash available, forward slash default dash SSL dot conf. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to set our server name. All right, so if in this in this file here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to right above where it's the default document root, all right? And we're gonna put in our IP address. We're gonna type in server name space dot your IP address with a colon 443 for the SSL, okay? And then I'm going to come over here and remove the HTML and we're gonna put own cloud. Cause if you followed my own cloud tutorial, this is basically the same thing we did in our non SSL configuration file for Apache. So that's almost everything we have to do in here. We have to add a couple more things in here. So I think this is going to be step four, but let's go ahead and go down to, this is what we're looking for right here. We're looking for under SSL engine on, okay, which is up here, okay. The SSL certificate file. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change that. So we're gonna come to the end of it. And we're gonna paste in forward slash Etsy, forward slash Apache 2, forward slash SSL, 
forward slash own cloud forward slash CRT. And then the next line that we're going to copy and paste in or just put in is going to be forward slash Etsy forward slash Apache two forward slash SSL forward slash own cloud dot K. All right, that's all we need in this configuration file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down control and hit O and we're going to save that and we can exit. Okay. And we're good to go there. Now what we need to do is we need to enable SSL on this server for own cloud to work. So we're going to type in a two and site space default dash SSL. All right. Now it's going to ask us to restart Apache. So we might as well do that service space apache to space reload okay and let's go ahead and do a to e n m o d space ssl and do a reload on that or just type that in it should work fine now we should just type in service space apache to space restart all right now there's one thing left we need to do. We need to edit our default Apache configuration file. So in, I, I, this is gonna be like five or six, I forget what step we're on here. But we're gonna type in nano forward slash Etsy, forward slash Apache two, forward slash sites, dash available, dash zero 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 dash default dot conf. Okay. Now in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna redirect this to our IP address of this server. So. It's very simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go down right here and we're gonna paste in redirect forward slash HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 10.0.0.142. Now that IP address is gonna be different for what your IP address is, but that's pretty much all we have to do here other than restart our web server, which is Apache. So we can hit control zero, save these changes, control X, and we can type in service space apache to restart all right now that we opened up a web browser in our host operating system and go to our ip address of our ubuntu server that's running on cloud in my case it was 10.0.0.142 we're going to be presented with this screen here your connection is not private now remember we created a self-assigned certificate so we know it's secure we created it a few minutes ago so let's go ahead and click on advanced and proceed unsafe. And we are at our login screen with an HTTPS SSL certificate running. Good job, people. I hope this helped. Wired Zero out. Have a wonderful evening.